Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Pulse Chain. So Pulse Chain actually just launched finally, and uh, it's looking really pro at the moment. If you don't know what Pulse Chain is, and it's a really good thing actually that you're watching this video because I think Pulse Chain is going to have a ton of potential, and it's definitely something worth learning about and getting involved in as soon as possible, in my opinion. I think it's going to be a really fast-growing chain. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can get into it. I'm going to try to put it as simple as possible, and uh, hopefully everyone can easily learn how to get into Pulse Chain. So let's start off with what is Pulse Chain. So Pulse Chain is a fast, open source, public blockchain and a cost effective hard fork of Ethereum. It is the first hard fork to contain the complete state of Ethereum blockchain, meaning that it holds records of every transaction, user and smart contract interaction on Ethereum. While the rollout of Ethereum 2.0 reaches its final stages, a programmable blockchain space is becoming home to several Ethereum competitors. PulseChain aims to solve the issues around Ethereum scalability by providing a low-cost alternative to the number one smart contract blockchain network. So some more information on what is PulseChain. So it says that the forthcoming PulseChain airdrop will see EOC20 token balances and NFT holdings mirrored on the PulseChain crypto network when the mainnet uh, goes live so this is super important to note everything that you have on ethereum is mirrored on pulse chain one to one ethereum is converted to uh, well one ethereum is converted to one pulse obviously pulse is worth very little per pulse since the supply is much bigger so that means your ethereum holdings don't really mean much on pulse but everything else you hold has a certain value on Pulse as well. So that's really important to uh, look into, which I'll cover later in the video, because it's very likely what you have on your Ethereum address uh, is gonna be worth something on Pulse and you can swap it to either Pulse or whatever else you want to. And I'll show you all about that uh, later on. Super important to note before we move forward, stable coins that you have are not backed one-to-one -one on Pulse at the moment. Uh, if you're holding USDT or USDC in your Ethereum wallet, you're going to get the same amount on Pulse. Uh, just to note, the snapshot was taken on the 10th of May at around 10 p.m. UTC. So if you had, um, for example, USDT before that date, say you had 10,000. If you go on Pulse Network now, you can swap that 10,000 for Pulse or whatever other token. You're not going to get $10,000 worth of Pulse but you will get some uh, worth from it. So it is definitely worth having a look at. So next up, let's talk about how you can add um, Pulse Network to your MetaMask. Obviously the first step that you need to do, and it's really straightforward, just go to pulsechain.com and right here it says add PulseX to MetaMask. You just click on that and it will pop up with uh, everything on your MetaMask and you just add it. Another way to add it is to go on the PulseX exchange, which is the official PulseX. Uh, exchange uh, decentralized exchange you can just connect your wallet and it'll auto uh, automatically allow you to swap to pulse network and then once you open your metamask you can see the drop down uh, you can choose between all the chains and you'll uh, pick pulse chain to be able to trade here so before we look at how to trade let's first look at how you can derive values at the moment that's obviously very important you don't want to trade and not know even what anything is worth obviously with the bridge not being out yet it technically doesn't have a worth because you can't even cash anything out but to get a rough estimation of what things are worth the way you want to do that is check the pulse to hex ratio since you know what hex is worth on ethereum which if we go to coin market cap you can see hex is worth three cents at the moment you can see here it's halved in value but that's because it was duplicated on pulse chain so it kind of makes sense that it double the supply and then it will just half in value. Went from six cents to three cents. So it makes complete sense. So the pulse to hex ratio is one hex equals 120 pulse. So let's whip out the calculator. So if one hex is 0 0.03, since it's three cents, we divide that by 120 you'll get the value of Pulse at the moment, which is $0.00025. So that is a way you can kind of determine the value of what you're trading at the moment with the bridge not being up. But uh, until the bridge is up, this, this is what you're gonna have to use. So now let's look at how you can trade. So you're gonna have to trade on PulseX. This is the official uh, exchange. 
And something to note about PulseX, which uh, is written in this tweet actually, the fees are only 0.29%, which is actually less than Uniswap, QuickSwap, and Trader Joe. So fees are really fair. So that's something just to note. But anyways, you're going to connect to uh, PulseX with your MetaMask wallet. And if you don't have Pulse in your wallet, that might be a bit of an issue since you won't be able to pay for gas fees. In that case, what I'd recommend you to do is find someone that does have Pulse that can send it to you or and then just send them the equivalent in dollars or whatever on Ethereum or just uh, wait until the bridge is available. So now let's have a look at what tokens are currently being traded. So we can see here if we go on Dex Screener and you sort it here by Pulse Chain, you can see all the pairs. You can see most pairs are with um, WPLS, which is the native token Pulse. And you can see here it's in order of the number of transactions done, which um, most likely is the ones with the highest volumes. You can see obviously the highest one naturally would be Pulse and Hex. Then you get um, Pulse and Pulse X, then you get Incentive and so on. So as I said before, what's very important for you to note and where you can actually get some free gains from all of this is you can have a look at, for example, USD coin. You will have that if you kept that on your Ethereum wallet. You'll have that mirrored on uh, Pulse. So you simply go to uh, Pulse X exchange. You type in USDC um, and then let's say you have 10,000 you can swap that for almost 200,000 Pulse, which is not going to be worth nothing. So that is definitely worth, uh, worth doing. And you can actually do this with any token that you have. For example, even Link. Let's say you had some chain link, and let's say you had 1,000 of it. You can also swap that for around 300,000 Pulse. So definitely worthwhile um, to do that. Check what you got and get some free Pulse. Next question is, what do I think is worth trading on here? So this is obviously a really subjective question. And what I can say on this, in my opinion, I think memes are actually going to be quite uh, hyped on Pulse Chain. So I think the meme coins are something that are worth to look at at the moment. For example, Shiba Inu and Pepe. These are two I personally bought some of because I just think with the speculation on Pulse Chain with the, with the cult and uh, just the memes, I think it can really do quite well. I've also seen incentive uh, popping up since I see that's going to be quite a strong uh, coin for the whole uh, ecosystem in the future. But personally, I like the meme coins, so I'm just buying those because they're quite cheap and who knows what they can do. That could be something to put a little bit in and just leave it and then maybe one day when Pulse blows up, those will be worth a pro amount. So next up, let's move through the different features and things that you should know about. So Pulse Chain is where you can check all the transactions like Etherscan, the moment obviously it's really congested so it's really really laggy i mean if i try to refresh uh, it doesn't really help so okay it actually worked yeah. so this is the explorer for pulse chain next up is pulse chain bridge which as i mentioned earlier is not live at the moment but it should be within the next few days they did mention maybe a day or two even so that's definitely something to keep your eyes peeled because once that is live we will finally know the actual values of everything that's trading and we don't need to estimate anymore but at the moment uh not usable but this is the page where uh, you'll be able to use it next up if you want to become a validator uh you're gonna have to go here launchpadpulsechain.com and follow these steps as it says here it uses proof of stake so you can stake pulse as a collateral and become a validator in order to do this you'll need to uh, stake 32 million pulse per validator and currently the apy on that is around 40 to 50 percent which you'll receive in return as your monetary reward for that so if you want to have a look at that you need to just go through all of this and that's uh, quite simple next up if you don't remember somehow if you sacrificed then you can go pulse chain sacrifice checker and type in your address and see if you actually did then also what's actually very useful to use is here pulse chain sacrifice checker you go to this page i'll put the link in the description you type in you, well you connect your wallet make sure you're on pulse chain network you scan your tokens and that will add all your PRC20 copies of your Ethereum tokens onto your MetaMask for 
pulse chain. So that's very useful. I use this and it helped a lot instead of adding everything one by one and searching for the contract addresses. So that's definitely something um, that's uh, nice to use. Next up, you can see at the moment on plc20s.com approximately what your plc20s are worth. So if you type your Ethereum address in here, it'll tell you the approximate amount. Obviously, it's very approximate, so don't take its word really. Then lastly, on pulseburn.com, you can see here a lot of nice statistics about Pulse Chain. You can see here it's circulating supplies for Pulse, PulseX, Incentive, and Hex. You can see how much has been burned so far, half a billion, which is quite a significant amount for it being out for uh, not such a long time. You can see total amount of transactions, volume, liquidity, and the current gas prices, which is measured in beats. You can see here to send PRC20 tokens, it's going to be about 631 Pulse. Uh, sending Pulse is about 88, and doing a swap is around 1,500 uh, pulse which is not really a lot you saw the price in the beginning at least the estimated price of pulse so that's really cheap anyways that wraps up this video uh, for today i'll definitely make more videos on pulse in the future since there's going to be a lot of things to cover and uh, it's really exciting to see how it's going to play out and what shitcoin is do well and where the pro gains can be so definitely stay tuned for future videos Follow me on Telegram and Twitter and subscribe to the channel if this helped you and I'll be definitely uh, making some more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.